Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrea and welcome back to another vlog here in San Antonio. We are still actually apartment hunting. I have Angel here and we're about to go and get some breakfast. Angel been wanting to go to this little place called, where are we going? Bakery. Uh... It's like Bakery Lorraine. Yes. So we're gonna go to a little restaurant called Bakery Lorraine. It's supposed to be good and cute. So. No, 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 no. You go down this way. It is hot. It's very hot. Where are you going? There's like six different playgrounds. Like this is one playground, and then there's like two. Then these little things, and then this little area. This is a huge, and I like the trees. This is a huge playground. Be careful. <gasps> Yay! I'm coming. Okay, where are we going next? Now on a slide. Go ahead. Woo! <laughs> Let's go find Brother and Titi. Mm -hmm. Girl. Come on, we just gotta go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just have to go potty and then hey, hey, hey. We just have to go potty and then we can go play, okay? Come on, let's go potty. <gasps> Guys, we found a little creek. They have little lily pads over here. That water actually looks nasty. Nasty? Mm hmm. Let's walk this way. Yeah. Give me a hand. Let's see if we can find a turtle. Yeah, a turtle. Hmm? Hey guys, what's up? Just here with a quick update. I don't even remember where I left off in this vlog, but just know it was like a few days ago because today it is Thursday and I have the kids at the park, which is well and much needed because we've been cooped up in this very little crappy hotel. I wish I can tell y'all that my time here so far has been great. It has been going smoothly. I have been getting my questions answered, stuff like that, but I would be lying, okay? When I first got here, I drove around for hours, okay? After a nine-ish hour drive, we drove around for another two to three hours just looking for like my unit trying to find our way around post looking for a hotel to stay in stuff like that and it just was not working out for us so um we ended up in a very crappy hotel 
<laughs> I wouldn't even lie. I wouldn't even lie. It was very crappy. It was very shaded. The area around was horrible. Like there was board boarded up areas and it, it was just it was just not a fun time. I had to go up to a random drill sergeant who asked like, hey, can you help me? I'm lost, I'm looking for these people. And she got on the phone and she contacted, I guess, um, one of the drill sergeants from my unit. And when she came out, she helped me as much as she possibly could. My situation seems to be so difficult. I'm a PCSing student, okay? I'm a PCSing student. But the issue is, I have so many questions and I just wasn't able to get them answered because I don't have a sponsor. So for anybody who is, PCSing or reclassing to 68 Charlie if you are prior service or something like that or you have a family it's going to be a little bit difficult because I don't qualify for a sponsor and a sponsor is the person that is supposed to basically be your middleman when it comes to you getting adjusted and getting situated on to post or onto your new duty station so you're supposed to be able to ask them what area should i live in how are these apartments hey can you go and look at this apartment and see if it looks like the pictures what about daycare they're supposed to be the person there to ask any questions that you have and i do not have that because i didn't qualify i even applied for one anyway and i didn't get one this is my first pcs move especially with i'm not sure if like I can't stay in certain hotels if I can't go over a certain amount of money a night when it comes to the hotels because apparently I'm supposed to be getting reimbursed because I definitely spent, I just spent so much money, so much money, not even including the food and stuff that I'm buying in these restaurants, but I digress. So it was kind of frustrating, but I finally got approved for an apartment off post. It's a bug. Mia says it's a bug. You gotta be careful, boo boo. Come here. Get off the table. You don't want to fall down. Mom, it's a bug. <laughs> yeah. You want to go play? Let's go play. Huh? Can I finish doing this and then I'm going to come play? Okay. So go and play and I'll come. I guess I'm not eating my cinnamon roll. But, um, where was I at? Where? Yeah, don't go over there. Go over there. The bugs aren't over there. They're over here. It's not a bug. The biggest issue why I wanted to stay off post is because my sister. So when I went into the housing, I was told that because my sister is an independent, she couldn't give me a straight answer on whether or not she could stay with me for the full year that I have to be here to train. If you all watched my rant that I did a few, was that like a month or so ago? I did a rant and it was basically about the way training and stuff is done here, how they don't offer childcare during PT hours. There's gonna be other times during the day that I have to be at work that they don't offer childcare for. So that was a big issue for me. The biggest issue being child, being PT hours. I did not understand why you do not offer childcare during PT hours. So when I was speaking to different people, I've spoke to so many people, including other soldiers and drill sergeants that have the same issue that I was having at the time. They basically said you, I would have to pay for additional childcare off post. The issue with that was, the issue with that was I already paid enough money for my son and my daughter in daycare as it is. So if I would have found a nanny or if I would have sent them off post, that would have been $430 a month just, you know, for that additional childcare for those few hours. And I just wasn't, I wasn't about to do that. So what I did is I got in touch with my little sister, Angel, she's 19 and she decided that she was gonna to come to live with, she was gonna come live with me so she can help me out with the kids. That way, for whatever reason, if I had to stay over, if I had to go to PT, if I had to do anything, she's there to take care of the kids for me. And I'm so blessed that she was able to do that. And on top of that, if I needed like a break, if I wanted to just go out and do something like that, you know, she's there to take the kids for me if I needed that. So that was really nice too. So, saying or thinking that she may not be able to stay with me for the entire year or thinking that they're going to cause some issues for me definitely wasn't trying to take those chances so i just said forget it you know forget it i'm just going to stay away from my post i actually just got the phone call just now saying that i can go ahead and sign my lease and go pick up my keys <laughs> thank goodness because i can't <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't, I can't with this hotel. I can't, <sighs> it was just so stressful. But um, yeah, that's enough updates, I guess, for now. I'm going to go ahead and continue to play with my kids on the playground because I'm telling you, I've, I've been so stressed these past few days has been really stressful and driving through this traffic is really stressful okay i'm not used to navigating through big cities like this so i'm just like i know i'm pissing everybody off when i'm driving so it's okay come get cookie angel bought a brownie i don't understand Hold on. it looks good don't get me wrong but who eats that much chocolate before? and then Nia, you keep going over there. She keep going over there talking about it's a bug. So why do you keep going over there, boo? You okay? But eat some of your cookies so we can go and get in the car. <laughs> this cinnamon roll is so hard. Can't believe I spent money on this. So we got the apartment. Wait, what? We got the apartment. So, I'm gonna live there now. Today. <laughs> You're gonna live there now? <laughs> yeah, we just have to go. Go get our shoes. that we looked at yesterday. It's the first one that we went to. With the outside playground. Yeah, I know, I know. I remember. If I got a dollar for every time you slammed the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive. 